<clears throat> Ready for the next mission, ma'am? Have you got all the gear you need? Locked and loaded, ma'am. Let's move out. Right behind you, ma'am. Don't do anything stupid. Oh my god. Sorry to say I am dying. Why is he serious? Everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. 
This can't be happening. I only just found you. I've had the same thoughts more than a few times. But we cannot let this stop us. Our work must continue. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. All right. The Brotherhood sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them.
you hear something? sort of radiation protection on you? Radiation protection? Like what? Come on, you've been around a while. You want to be up to speed here. The usual stuff Commonwealthers use. Rad X, Rad Away, a suit. Anything like that. You go in there without something and you're going to be toast. Glowing, blistered toast. So? Don't worry about me. I'm all set. Okay, good. See? This is why I wore the suit. Look, they worked on the reactor here. They must have had some kind of protection. Poke around and I'm sure you'll find something. Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed.
Dr. Fillmore? I think that was enough excitement for, well, ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Justin? We've got a problem here, and to be honest, Father's never taken it as seriously as he should. I'm hoping you will. What's the problem? We often send synth scavenger teams to the surface. Occasionally, one of the synths will try to escape. The rate of escapes has been increasing lately, and I don't think it's just random chance. Okay. What are you doing to solve this problem? I did some digging, and discovered that the culprit is right here. In the Institute. Someone in robotics has been changing my work crew assignments. Replacing synths I approved for surface duty with high flight risks. I'm convinced that someone is Alan Binet. He thinks that synths are people. He even lives with one. It's disturbing. Binet. Of course. Who else has access to the terminals in robotics? Well, there's Max Loken and Father, of course, but I know those men. They wouldn't do something like this. No, Binet is the only one with both motive and opportunity. Unfortunately, even if I had proof of Binet's involvement, I don't have the authority to do anything about it. But you, your father's hand-picked successor. If you make the accusation, nobody would have the nerve to question it. Anyway, like I said, the roster assignments were definitely altered from the terminals in robotics. I leave the rest to you. Dr. Loken, we've received a work order from SRB. What do they do? They're requesting replacement courses again. Quite a few, actually. I guess they lost a whole unit on the surface. Is this some sort of joke? Third time this month. Dr. Ayo can't keep using my synth so recklessly. I refuse to give him any more. Should I tell him that? No. I'll have him. I wouldn't wish dealing with that man on my worst enemy. That new guy, the one from the vault. What are you doing here? Know anything about a remote computer access? Um, no, I don't know anything about that. Why would you ask it? Oh, I know what this is about. Listen, I know what Justin Ao believes, but he's wrong. My dad's not helping synths get away. I guess he could get into real trouble if they decide he's guilty anyway. Do you know anything that might help me prove his innocence? I don't know anything that would help. I wish I did. I wish everyone would just leave my dad alone. I mean, why is it such a big deal if a few synths escape? We have more than enough here. Is there anyone else who might want to help the synths? I don't know. You figure it out. Just leave my dad out of it, okay? <clears throat> As the Institute's first personal synth, I try to set a good example. What's a personal synth? Dr. Binet is carrying out a social experiment. He wants to see if a synth can integrate into a human family. I know I can never replace his wife or be a real mother to Liam, but I can at least help with the domestic duties. I like to think I'm a pretty good cook. It was a real pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you're still taking everything in. So I'll let you get back to that. Don't come any closer. I'm sorry that you had to find me here. 
Put that gun away, now. I... I want to, but I can't. You know too much. If I let you go, they'll find out everything. And they'll take him away. Sounds like you're protecting someone. I know Liam isn't really my son, but I've come to love him as if he were. He's so smart and so kind-hearted. All he wants is for Sins to have a better life, to be free. I'm sorry. You seem like a good person, but I can't let you tell Justin that Liam is helping the Synths. You'd really risk your life to protect Liam. Risk my life? I would give my life, and if necessary, take someone else's. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. Don't think I'll- <laughs> You're the one helping Synths escape. Why? So you figured it out. Nice work. Nobody else down here could. I'm not surprised it took someone from outside. At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you know? But then I realized the Synths are really just like us, except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape, so they can have a better life. You should know that Eve is dead. She died trying to protect you. Oh, no. No! I'm so sorry. I had no idea she'd grown that attached. Or cared that much. I swear I didn't mean for that to happen. She was a good person, I promise. She really seemed to love us. Look, now that you know, you have a choice to make. You could tell Justin. But I have a proposal for you. I want to frame Justin Ao. We can't even consider that. SRB is shorthanded as it is. Losing another director would be crippling. Look, ever since Dr. Zimmer left, he's been out of control. He and his coursers have been pushing people around and threatening them to get what he wants. When he came after my dad, that was the last straw. Would that really solve anything? Who would take Justin's place if he were gone? Alana Secord. She's honest, fair, and good at what she does. She'll make a great acting director for the SRB. If he's as bad as you say, then he needs to go. I know just what to do. Go to Justin's quarters and disable the security safeguards on his private terminal. I'll remotely plant evidence on it that'll make it look like he's the one helping the synths. Then it's bye-bye Justin Ao. Ao should never have gone after my father. I disabled the safeguards. Way ahead of you. I've already accessed the terminal and planted the evidence. Pretty good, huh? So what happens now? I guess there's only one thing left to do. I'll tell my dad about how I think Justin Ao has been secretly freeing the synths. I've got a motive for him, too. The way I see it, it's a play to make sure everyone depends on the SRB. Thanks again for your help. A lot of people will be happier with just an AO out of the way. Especially my dad. You wanted to see me? I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. It would have been much quicker if they hadn't gotten in the way. Yes, they are becoming a nuisance. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however. 
given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, but it is related in a sense. What should have been a simple situation has unfortunately become complicated. While you were working with Dr. Fillmore, a small team was dispatched elsewhere in the Commonwealth. Dr. Thompson was tasked with inviting someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Let me guess. He botched the job. It is unclear exactly what happened. But at this time, I am not concerned with placing blame. There was no indication that this would be a problem. But the arrival of the team was an unwelcome surprise to Mr. Wallace. Somewhere along the way, he must have realized we'd been monitoring him from a distance. He called in mercenaries to defend him. I'm sure there's nothing we can't handle. Ensure the safety of the team and Mr. Wallace, and see that they all arrive back here safely. I'll be waiting. starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you, specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What do you mean, get Wallace? You don't have him already? I know. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Sir, are you okay? 
Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. Of course I'm not okay. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean... Thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. Hey. I'd still like to talk, if you can spare a minute. Depends on what you need. Just a moment of your time, sir. When Father told us about you, and who you were, it was clear he had certain biases. How could he not? He's your son, and proud of it. When he shared his plan for you to take his place, well, a lot of us thought that was more than just pride. It was narcissism. How would you, an outsider who knew nothing about us, run the Institute? We all had our doubts. Me, maybe more than most. But now, after watching the way you operate, well, I have to admit, I was wrong. It's clear to me now that Father knew what he was doing, and I should have trusted him. He seems to genuinely care about the Institute. I'm sure he only wants what's best. It's true. He's dedicated his whole life to it. I know that you haven't had much time with him, but I can tell you honestly, ma'am, Father is a great man. I believe in his plan for the future. I'll do anything in my power to make sure that future becomes a reality. Do I like wading through the filth that is the Commonwealth and all of its vermin? Of course not. But if that's what the Institute needs me to do, then I'll do it. My point is, you should be proud to call him your son. Why do you hate the Commonwealth and its people so much? If the Institute represents the best of humanity, of what it can accomplish, then the Commonwealth represents the worst. It's like a rotting corpse, and the people who make their home there are like carrion worms, feeding on the filth. Soon, there will be nothing left but the Institute, and mankind will be better for it. Anyway, I've said what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. <laughs>